I think it was a penalty, I think it, I don't think it was too, too well I was standing or, or may even have been sitting at the time because I did a bit of both. Uh, it looked it looked from my position it was a penalty, so I didn't have any qualms about that. Um, a bit unfortunate coming as late as it did and a little bit unfortunate that we'd had that long break with Bakery's injury, which I suppose disturbed our rhythm and concentration slightly, but uh, no excuses and just congratulations to West Ham for playing well enough to provoke the penalty. Is there any update on Bakery's injury yet? No, of course we won't know until tomorrow, you never know, but um, my medical staff and, and sports science people are very good. Um, They've got an um, an erring knack of being right with their initial thoughts and prognosis, and they aren't very optimistic. They, they, they don't think it looks good at all. So uh, the positivity of the point, you know, getting a point here, we certainly aren't disappointed with that. But it is disappointing to pay such a high price if Bakri Sako is now going to miss a large part of the rest of the season, quite simply because we. We don't really have the luxury of losing a forward player because we are so short of players in that area. Any complaints about the tackle? It seemed, it seemed very no, no, I didn't think about that. I mean, to be honest, I'd have to see it again. But if you're if you're saying, did I think anything negative about the tackle at the, at the moment? To be fair, I, it's just one of those things that happened. I was. The, I followed the balls, but I would doubt uh, if there's any reason to criticise the tackle. In fact, to be fair, there was nothing in the game. The game was played played pretty fairly. I mean, James Tompkins unfortunately caught Hernandez a little bit late, but uh, that was about the only tackle in the game, I suppose you could say, was a slightly dodgy one, but it was a, a, a purely a mistimed challenge. There's a long-term injury for <coughs> uh, Saku. Well, we've been talking about that since the 12th of September, you know, so nothing changes in that respect. Um, I've been being asked about our squad and the bodies since, certainly since early October, and I've always said exactly the same thing and nothing changes. Um, I suppose you could say it makes it a little bit more in, uh, imperative that we bring some players in um, because if we don't, you know, we're going to have a very, very small squad, especially in the forward area. Names in particular, Ibrahim Amadou, who's been spoken about, is there Most of the names that are, are, are put to me are names that we possibly have spoken about, but for various reasons and at various times, and, you know, they've, they've either been. Uh, dismissed at various times for various reasons too. So I mean, I don't, I haven't spoken to Doug Friedman or Steve Parrish, who are working unbelievably hard to try and bring players in, and that they've been working at that for a period of time now. I don't quite know where they are with the sort of targets that uh, we've we've had on our list. Um, I'm hoping for some good news there, maybe in the next. And how many hours is it now? I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't follow that one. I don't. Uh, I don't believe in that clock that runs down on the TV. Okay. Any more? Anything else? Thank you. That's it. Thanks very Cheers. Much.